we have left uh, Salt Lake City and we're heading to Colorado. And where are we going in Colorado? Steamboat Springs. Steamboat Mountain. So we're going to ski a couple uh, days in Colorado in Steamboat. Apparently it closes on the 17th. And how long is it going to take us this day to get there? Uh, six or seven hours. It's supposed to be five and a half. Driving a regular car. No, we're not. That looks like. Okay, lunch break. Good morning. So we are still in Steamboat Springs. Today we're going for a quick hike at, what is it? Fish Creek. Fish Creek Falls. Fish Creek Falls. Can you get out from there now? Let's not and say we did. Ah, oh, honey. What do you want? You want this? Wow. <laughs> wow. Hi, Ryder. Hi, Ryder. Babysitting the next door neighbor's dog. Okay, downtown Steamboat Springs. Oh, it's really super windy. Look at that sign up there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I had a great time in Steamboat. We are hitting the road in the morning, going out for dinner tonight. But if any of you know, I like a main street and this one is super cute. Definitely got a ski feel to it. Springs and that is where the Garden of the Gods um, is and we're gonna do that tomorrow. There is a ton of little things to do in this area. Lots of hiking, um, shopping, dining. Currently we are on a main street in this is old Colorado City. Yeah. The original I guess. It's quite cute. We'll look at this call main it street. I think Manitou Springs is different. It's different. Yeah, I think that's like a whole other little town. I forgot to mention that the ride here from Steamboat was 
very hellish. <laughs> Probably one of our worst drives. It's uh, a little stressful. Lots of snow in the mountains, icy roads. We've never done that before. Remember, we're hauling a trailer with a front wheel drive Dodge minivan. And she still did the trick for us. Can't she made it through. So we are here in um, Colorado Springs and we decided to come to this area and see Garden of the Gods. Ready for all weather. Yeah. Right there. what we do in the trailer but Brent got a new little contraption it's kind of right there so is it shooting up into the black water tank yeah. it out. wow is it and it's working Look how clean it is. amazing All right, so we have packed up the trailer and it, we left it in Manitou Springs and currently we have made a little side trip that a guy in Salt Lake City recommended to us. Arctic tundra wolf mix. Now, Arctic wolf's native range is going to be the northern part. Bring until negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So, this is very good weather for them. What a good boy. Now, for Arctic wolves like Ooh. Rocky. Ooh. 
So it's been a couple of weeks since visiting the Wolf and Wildlife Center and I realized we didn't get a lot of footage when we were there because it was freezing. It was an amazing place and they are doing great work advocating for these amazing animals. We carried on to our next campsite around the Frisco area right outside of Breckenridge and spent the next couple of weeks skiing Arapahoe Basin and Copper before they closed for the season. The area is amazing, but bring your oxygen tank as the base elevation at Breckenridge is 9,600 feet, rising to just shy of 13,000 feet. We also made it to Vail to visit our friends Brent and Sandy and got a day of skiing in there. My Brent had the best run of his life, and of course, we didn't shoot any video of that weekend either. A big thanks to Brent and Sandy for hosting us. You can check out our blog for more details about our Colorado trip. So we've been on the road for seven months now and it's time to head back home to Canada. We'll be back in a few months though when we hit the road to Alaska.